Hey everyone, it's Kelly the Frugal Fun Mum here in Adelaide, Australia. Welcome to the channel and to today's video where we are checking out this Asian supermarket. It's called Homes Supermarket and it is near Costco here in Adelaide. It is pretty new to us and it is massive. We had a quick sneak peek the other day so we've come back today to give you guys a full tour around and have a look because there is so much in here. It's probably one of the biggest Asian supermarkets that I have seen outside of our local central markets. So first of all, it's actually a restaurant and a supermarket, so you can order food here. There's a little dine-in seating area, and they have a wide range of food and just different delicacies. I loved the fact that they've got all the pictures here of what the food looks like because that's important. We eat with our eyes, but also I think it just helps for you to be able to connect with what you're ordering and eating so you can understand. First, they had this little bread deli section and my daughter tells me that they use milk a lot to make their breads and they enjoy to have like a sweeter dough. So this reminded me of the store at Bread Tops, just a smaller section though compared with Bread Top. I loved looking at all these ice creams in the little display unit. You can tell by the picture what they are, but I think it's just so good to see something different. I love these little soft serve cones inside there. They're so cute. This is just some of the uh, tables for the dining restaurant. And then there is like the bar that you can order takeaway food. Of course, a foodery wouldn't be complete without the display of the cooked chooks or ducks <laughs> and a gorgeous range of fresh fruit and veggies and different varieties of things that you can get. Then onto the super fresh food, such a good variety. I loved looking at these. I could have looked all day. It reminded me of when you're, yeah, in store the restaurant and you'll be like, I want that one. So you can get lobster here. Apparently you can also get crab, uh, abalone, I think it is over there. And then here is cod and barramundi. I don't really know my fishes very well, but I did enjoy looking at these. And then this guy in here wanted to have a bit of a chat with me. So yeah, how you doing? <laughs> a wide range of drinks that they have here too. And of course, you can tell by the picture what they are. Uh, so that really helps. So I spotted this Nescafe drink out the corner of my eye. So at least you can tell by the picture. And then I just enjoyed having a bit of a look around at all the other drinks. Of course here, as you can see, Pepsi. We know our labels. <laughs> Don't need words, just the picture. This drink we've had before from Daiso, it's like raspberry lemonade and it's got this topper in it. And what you do is you pull it out and then you whack it down really hard with your hand and it loosens the cap that's inside of it. One of them used to have a little marble inside of it. So if you tipped your drink up too fast, the marble would stop the drink coming out. I'm not sure if that's still inside of them, but I know that they take a little bit to open, which um, you often see people putting videos up online of them trying to open it. Here we have the kimchi. This is so cheap for the weight compared with the supermarkets. And then the biggest range of tofu I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> There's silken, firm, softened, I don't know, just so much, so much. And then again, a massive range of these delicacies, pork buns, chicken buns, dim sims, pot stickers, and many other things that I can't even pronounce. Here is an eye opener. Don't send someone to the shop for rice, wine, vinegar, or soy sauce. You'll be going, which one? <laughs> Who knew there was such a massive range? And then the same with all these noodles, instant pot noodles, meal pots, meal kits, 
meal packs, meal noodle packs. <laughs> oh my gosh, so much stuff. Also a massive range of spices and other bits and pieces for you to make whatever you want. I loved how all these packets were on display so you could see inside individually what you're getting and I've never seen such a massive range before. These ice bags caught my eye. We used to have them when I was younger and I haven't really seen them around anywhere else. So a good flashback to my childhood. And then they also had all more flowers and dried up herbs and other things to make teas or anything else. I think everything just looks so pretty. These cognac jellies my daughter really enjoys to have. They're a good treat. I can't really describe them. It's like a liquid jelly. but they, I don't like them, but she loves them. And then pockies. Oh, they are one of our favorites. So they're basically just a pretzel stick with dipped in chocolate and different flavors. So you've got a whole wide range of things. And then they have other snack things here. They have these little custard buns they're like a cake and inside of it has custard or there's like a red bean paste there's a chocolate paste uh lemon curd they have a whole range of stuff in there so good little treats again with the nest cafe <laughs> once you know that name that's where you're at and then look at this, Starbucks. I've never seen this range in a supermarket before, so it's good. Hello Panda, they are the same uh, in the range of like Pocky being a sweet biscuit with a filling inside of them. And then they have this different range of chocolates. I'm assuming that black chocolate is the same as what we would say a dark chocolate because they had milk there and they had white chocolate. And look at this range of Kit Kats. There's a coffee break, there's a matcha tea, there's a strawberry, there's a regular, I think. I'm not sure what these ones are, whether they're a dark chocolate, but a peach. I've never seen such a range of different flavors before. It was great to see that they sell alcohol in here. So this one is, yeah, for you to buy and take home. If you wanted to drink any in store, you'd go around to the dining area. So there was Japanese sake and there's many, many other things. It was just so eye opening to see everything here. And then this is the sweet section with the lollies. They have such a big variety of things. And oh, these peanuts, they're so yum. It's like a peanut wrapped in a crunchy flavored shell. They're just yum. You just got to get them. Then this section was the biscuit section. And to start with, they've kind of got their sweet biscuits. So your general coffee biscuit type things and then wafer biscuits. And then you move around to the savory biscuits. So the crackers. And then next to that is all the potato chips and crisps and little snacky things for school bags and things like that. Look at this bottle of popcorn. Could you imagine taking this to the cinema? Could I have some popcorn? Sure, I'll just pour some out for you. It was massive. Look at that. <laughs> so big. And of course, they have the Pikachu popcorn that's there. And they had a few other little bits and pieces as well. They also had a beauty section I didn't take a whole lot of footage of, but I also took some footage of this little pet section. So good. There's something for everyone inside of here. We really enjoyed our visit today. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below if you've ever been to an Asian supermarket, if you have a favorite product from there. I thought some of their stuff was so amazing for the prices, so I think we'll definitely be going back. We would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and as always, we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.